What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this really cool kind of uh, text through or car through text mask effect. I know that's a really, uh, it's, a tongue, it's a tongue twister right there, but I'm going to show you guys how to do this really cool um, effect here in Final Cut Pro 10 without any plugins. Everything here is provided or already built in into the application of Final Cut. All right, guys. So the first place that I found this effect was on Enrique Iglesias' Move to Miami official music video with Pitbull. And if we go kind of frame by frame here in the music video, actually within a couple of frames of the music video, you can see that uh, we have this really cool uh, like kind of text tracking effect going on as well with some neon uh, lettering. And it's kind of cool. You're going to see how the car just goes right through the text there and the text stays partially uh, stationary. Uh, the next thing we need is a font and that font is called Arrow. Uh, so it's kind of like this and I just typed in move to London. That's the font and the text that I'm going to be using in this tutorial. So let's jump in to Final Cut Pro 10. So the first thing you want to do is to select a part of the clip. So I'm going to select this one and I'm going to do, I'm actually going to just disable that for now. So the next thing you want to do is go to titles and generators, then go to the generators, drag a custom generator and kind of move this around here less than a second like that go to titles and go to basic title and drag that right on top of your footage and cut that and delete it and then we're going to go to the time head here and just uh, with your arrow keys go seven frames to the right so one two three four five six seven around there is where the video start i kind of I kind of uh, timed it in the music video. And then once you guys have that done, uh, the next thing you need to do is to go into the inspector window. So go over here, go to the, uh, over here where the title and the text properties are at. And then here you wanna click where it says normal, click on that and go to 2D styles. You can do 3D if you want, go on to neon, okay? Now you're gonna have this very ugly looking neon uh, title. So we're gonna change the text first of all. Now this font does make your text all capitals. So we're gonna go to font and we're gonna go all the way up to arrow. And then here we're gonna get rid of the face. We don't need a face, which is the inside of the text there. It's just a color. We don't need um, glow. So we're gonna go on to, um, you can keep everything the same, but we're not gonna change the color. You can, but if you go to outline and we go to gradient, you're gonna have a fun time changing that. So I found an easier way to get rid of that. So just go to the effects, go to color, and add the colorize onto the text, okay? So now once you do that, we're gonna go onto the video property here, and we're gonna to go to the colorize. We're gonna do remap black, and we're gonna change this to a neon. So you can do something like that. Go to remap white too, and we're gonna change this one. I'm gonna click on there, and I'm gonna change this one here as well. And I'm going to leave it like that, okay? So go back to the text, and here you can play around with some of the settings. Um, it does take a little bit to change, so we're going to do fill with. We're going to do color. Okay, so we have that nice outline. We're going to keep the width at 1, and the blur, um, we could just leave that at 0 and keep everything the same. So we're not going to change the outline anymore. The drop shadow is a little bit is annoying. Um, so we're going to go on to the opacity. You can decrease the opacity if you want. You can completely get rid of it, but in this case, we're going to keep it um, all the way up to 10. The opacity, though, is where you can lower it, and if we take it off, it's just going to look like that. So whatever whatever you're trying to go for, whatever look you're trying to go for, do it. Color, we might want to change this. You can make it brighter. You can make it darker, and we're good there. So now all we have to do is just start tracking the text to the ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply add keyframes. So if you've never worked with keyframes, I would suggest you guys watch my keyframing tutorial. The link is going to be down in the description, or you can look at other people's keyframing tutorials as well. So once we have the text there, cut it. So we're going to go, I don't know, we're going to go a couple of frames in, like maybe around here. I think that's like seven or six. And we're going to, don't cut the text. We don't want to do that. So go over here and go to 6.25%. You won't be able to see anything, but you'll you'll see why. So the next thing you need to do is go to the inspector window, back to the inspector window, go back here, and go to the transform, or you can just click this button here. And then we're gonna make this really big, okay? And when I mean big, I mean really, really big. So we're also gonna move this. Um, since the video is kind of shot at an angle, more of an angle than it is straight, it's gonna be a little bit more hard. 
um, but it's still manageable. It still will look okay. So we're gonna move this up a little bit. Sweet, so once you have that going on, we're gonna add our first keyframe. So click this button up here to add your first keyframe. And then on your keyboard, using the left and right arrow keys, press the right arrow key once, and then click on any of the corners and drag it uh, just a little bit, but not too much. You wanna do this gradually. The, you know, the more gradual you do it, the smoother it will look. So uh, we have this one here. You can see how that looks. So we're gonna do that again. So we're gonna go here, move your arrow once, and then drag this in a little bit. On your right arrow key, click once, and then drag this in a little bit. And you wanna keep doing that for a, for a while, okay? So this is very, very time consuming. So I will be back with you guys once I have this thing completed. All right guys, so I just finished tracking the text to the road. I'm um, using keyframing, so it is very time consuming, but it's still worth it. It only took me like 10 minutes maybe, or less than that. So um, now if I go ahead and just see what I've done, we can skim through the video. Doing it manually is nice. Um, of course, plugins help, but you can see that you don't need a plugin to do something like this. So now if I go ahead and go out and I zoom out and I push play, you're gonna see that it looks pretty good. So over here, it does slow down a little bit just because I kind of wanted more of the text to get a little smaller, but that's okay. Like I said, try to keep it as gradual as you can. The more gradual you do it, uh, the better the effect is gonna look. All right guys, so if you guys want that blue kind of effect to go on top of that video, just go ahead and cut uh, a part of the, uh, the first clip here where the text starts to come in. And go to the effects and we're gonna add another colorize effect to that clip. So. We're gonna go into the inspector window. We're gonna remap the black to the same color as our text. So we're gonna increase that like that. If you guys want that duotone look, then you can leave it like this. You can do blue and red or vice versa, but it looks really cool in my opinion. So I'm gonna move this down just like that. And if I go back, we're gonna have something that looks like this, and then it's gonna go ahead and disappear. Super nice effect. You know, it makes it look a little different. So the next thing we need to do is to group everything. So we're gonna group uh, just the text actually. So right click and go to new compounds clip and just name this text, okay? Just do that to the text itself. So we're gonna go to the effects and we're gonna type in draw mask. And this is where the, the uh, you know, your CPU is gonna come in because, and your RAM, because it's gonna be very, very uh, CPU and RAM intensive. So now we're gonna drag the draw mask on top of that clip. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to start uh, pretty much hiding the text when the car comes in. So how do we do that? Well, just go a couple of frames in, something like this. And once the text gets, I would say, closer to the car, maybe around, you kind of have to use your perception. So where would the text, you know, hit the car? So I think the text would hit the car, um, maybe around this post right here, as you can see. So you can use it as kind of like a point where to add the text. So around, I would say here, select, kind of zoom in on here. You will have to zoom in quite a bit. I'm gonna click and just select the car, okay? Uh, just select the car, nothing too crazy, okay? And try to round out your edges a little bit. And don't worry about the side mirrors. Um, if you guys wanna keyframe that out, uh, then do it, but that's going to be really hard or to mask it out. So I'm going to do something like this and something like that. So now we have everything masked inside of it, but we want to do the opposite. So just go to the invert mask tool and click this little uh, box there. And now we'll just do the opposite. So now we want to go ahead and feather this out though. So um, I believe it's going to the right. So go about 10. All right, guys. So once you have checked that mask for the invert mask tool, cut this part here so that this is separate, so we don't have a draw mask on this clip. So we're gonna get rid of this one, and we're gonna add it to this one here. So now we've pretty much just cut the clips in half, and then now we added the draw mask, all right? And then we're gonna add our first keyframe, so click the control points and click this little plus icon. So now we have our first keyframe. Make sure that this is yellow, because if you guys don't do that in the beginning, um, and you guys go to the end, and you haven't done any keyframing, then it's gonna suck really bad. So we're gonna first um, you know, make our adjustments here and then go um, right on your arrow key once and just start making your adjustments again. So like I said, you're gonna do this frame by frame. All 
All right, guys, so I just finished keyframing uh, this right here or masking it out, I guess. So now if I go ahead and zoom out of this and go to fit, but we can see now if I go ahead and just kind of skim through this, you can see that we have successfully masked out the text. So it looks as the car is going through the letters there. So now if you can see, we have that going on. So it looks super cool. So now if I go ahead and push play, well, if I render it out first, so I go to modify and then I go to render all and let's play the video. Sweet, so we have that going on. But like I said, it's not gonna be 100% perfect, um, but that looks really, really good. And then we're gonna just select this one and then we're gonna group that instead. So I'm gonna type in final. And then I'm gonna go back to the effects. I'm gonna go to color, custom LUT, and drag that onto the video there. Then we're going to change the LUT to log, just cause I think it looks really cool. And we're gonna just bring that down just a tad. Then we're going to finally add a letter box. So select everything and then add a new compound clip. And I'm gonna name this final again, letter box and drag that on top of your clip. So now we're gonna to go to the top, we're gonna to go into the inspector window, go to the aspect ratio and change that to 255. And you should now have this really cool cinematic text mask effects. All right guys, so once you are finished with everything and adding the effects and the color grading and all that crazy stuff, we're gonna go ahead and push play and we're gonna see what the final outcome is gonna look like without any plugins, which is cool. Sweet, so I think that looks really cool. So of course the last thing would be to add some music to this and I have already done that probably in the beginning of the video. All right guys, so that is it for this tutorial. If you found this video awesome and you guys are from London, be sure to leave a like, show your London love and comment down below uh, what videos you guys wanna see next. Subscribe, I post a lot of videos just like this and I'll catch you guys next time, peace.